So we recently got new extra time player pick rewards in FC Mobile, of course. Those were top 500 packs, not top 50 packs, only top 500 packs. But those packs still managed to uh, bring, the, uh, bring the market down quite a lot. Market has crashed quite a lot. So let's go ahead and check that one out. I'm going to talk about what you need to do as well as that. I'm going to go ahead and open one of those top 500 packs later on this video as well. I am going to open one of those. I opened one yesterday and I do have to open another one today. So I'm going to be doing that one as well. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it but if you go into the market you will see most of the cards that are like 96 97 98 99 have gone down quite a lot in price 100 overalls 101s they weren't really that affected with these ones just because uh, not a lot of people managed to pack like higher overall cards from those top 500 player picks but 99s 98s they went down quite a lot if you go ahead and check the, uh, check them out um for example there is there are like a lot of 99 overall cards now that you cannot even sell for about like 38 million coins while verde for example he you you cannot sell him for 38 mil he's got like 999 plus listings uh, as well as there is a Dinjeko, um same thing and pretty much a lot of other 99 overall cards 98 overall cards they have gone down a lot in price Hummels is now 44 45 million coins as you can see and Kane is like 40 million coins as well so you can see like all the players have gone down in price and that's pretty much because of the new extra time rewards as well as continuous extra time rewards right we didn't only get uh, we didn't only just get updated extra time rewards we have been getting brand new extra time uh top 50 and top 500 market pick packs uh for for a couple of weeks already um and uh, we know these player picks are going to be changing we do know these player picks are not going to be here anymore uh, at, uh on like 29th of august i'm pretty sure so in a couple of weeks we're not going to be getting um any more of these top 50 and top 500 market pick packs but they're going to be changed with something else so we're, we're going to get something else uh that we can use uh, that we can spend our universal not universal universal tokens um this is market pick tokens we can go on and spend our market pick tokens on some other packs some other player uh, player picks i'm not 100 sure where but we will be able to spend them but not for uh not, not on top 50 and top 500 packs anymore but because of those top uh, top 500 packs as i said these players have gone down quite a lot in price and i did tell you they were gonna go down plus we've we've got brand new store packs um we got a lot of store packs every single day and i think we're gonna be getting given more packs we also got this universal token pack which i completely forgot about i'm actually gonna open this 96 to 101 overall player pack as well or am i i might save it for the next video but yeah mar uh, market has gone down a lot uh, let me know down in the comment section if you sold most of your cards that you did not really need for your squad that were tradable for quite you know, quite a good amount of uh, quite good amount of coins um because i did tell you to sell your 98s 99s 97s most of them that you are not using for your squad because now it's very, very hard to sell those cards. 98, especially if you go out and take a look at the 98 overall cards, there is there is like very, very little chance you're able to sell most of these 98 overall cards. Look at that. All of them pretty much are at 30 million coins and pretty much unsellable, right? You cannot sell these 98 overall cards. Most of them at least. There are some, there are some like uh, James... Uh, Rhys James, you can sell him, but he's still gone down quite a lot in price. There is Rafael Leao, still went down a lot in price. Guardiol, all of these cards have gone down a lot in price, but most of these cards, you cannot even sell them for, uh, at like 28 million coins. 98, 97s, pretty much the same link. They're at like 20 million coins, and it's very, very hard to sell them. Most of them at least at that 20 million coin range. Um, most of these, like Calafiori, has got um, 140 listings and at 21 mil. You can sell him though, to be fair. You can sell him. Players like Acuna is going to be h hard to sell. And most of these 97 overalls, 98s. Um, you, you can, I guess, sell 97s, but still, they went down quite a lot in price, but 98s, 99s, those were the players that were affected the most from this market crash. Let me know down in the comment section what overall your, or your, what overall your team is as well. I'm very, very interested to know. My overall is 103. It is 102 right now. It is 103 overall, as you can see right there, when I go out and take out uh, my players, players from my substitutes list. Yep, it is not 103, but I do want uh, some players on my bench as well for that reason, uh, for um, for the substitutes, for head-to-head -head and all that type of stuff. So I'm definitely going to be adding some of those back. I'm, I'm going to... I cannot add Valverde because I've got another version of Valverde. Okay, I'm going to add Eusebio definitely. 
um, is a bit worse there already. I'm gonna add one Percy. One Percy is a decent card and something else. Um, not not Jerzinho or anything like that. Not to, not cool it just cause they don't really have any more of those um, training, so they're not really that great anymore. I'm gonna add um, De Bruyne and we're just gonna leave it at that, okay? We're just gonna leave it at that. But now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and get some more of the, the market pick tokens because um, I, I don't have I don't have enough. I need 1200 and I've got like 1000 right now. So what I'm gonna do is, I mean, I do want to put a 96 or uh, 97 overall card there. So I'm, I'm just gonna do that, okay? I'm just gonna put a 97 overall Henderson, for example, in this exchange and gonna get 400 to 500 of these market pick token packs or market pick tokens. We only got 400, which is quite, quite unlucky. That, that one is quite annoying to be fair. But here we go. Uh, if you want to know when new top 50 market big token packs, if you want to know when these are gonna be gone, um, yeah, it, it does say there as well that they're gonna be ending on 29th of August as well. So I, I was right with that one at 1 a.m. UTC. If you want to know uh, what time it is for you, 1 a.m. UTC, you can go ahead and Google that time and convert it to your time and you're gonna be able to know exactly when it is, I guess. I don't really need to get that many more market pick tokens because I can't use them on top 50 and top 500 packs, but I'm still gonna get them because I don't know what we're gonna get after these picks, right? I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna get after after these picks. We might get some some something better. You never know, right? We might get something better, and I'm still gonna be I'm just I'm still gonna be getting most of the market pick tokens. Not a lot because I don't really have that many untradeable cards left in my squad anymore, but I'm still gonna try to get as many of these market pick tokens as possible. Let's go ahead and open this uh, top 500 pack then, and let's see if we can get a 100 or a 101 overall, 99 overall Saka. Well, there is Mbappe there as well. I don't really think it's gonna be worth that much. I have packed Saka before um, and yeah, sold him uh, from one of my last top 50 or top 500 packs. I don't really remember exactly. I do want to still check Mbappe's price, so you never know, right? That's still Mbappe, yep, 17 mil. That's still Mbappe. He might be worth like incredible, incredible amount, even though that's a 95 overall card, but no, it's just, it was just like 17, 18 mil. So I'm just gonna be taking that 99 overall Bukayo Saka and hopefully, can sell him for like 50, 60, 50, 60 mil. Not sure how much he's gonna be worth. He might not even sell, obviously, but we will try to see if we can go ahead and sell that card or not. English right winger from England. We do know who that is. Okay, 70 mil, that's actually a good price, especially for a 99 overall card. So can I sell him? Can I sell him for that? I can sell him. That's not bad. I'm gonna save him for a little bit though. Maybe his price is gonna go up a little bit. Not, not really 100% sure.